Um, Florida? Florida. You're drunk. Just getting into Daytona. Got the bike covered on the back. 40 miles an hour on the highway. High winds, storms. Holy cow. Okay, that's enough, Florida. Florida. Yeah, guys, hey, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. It's not always sunny and beautiful here in Florida, especially in the summertime. I have lots of friends here in this part of Florida and they say in the summertime, it can rain heavy like that every single day. And then it can get sunny like this the very next day or even later on that same day, it can dry up so quickly uh, and then get really, really humid. So uh, uh, that is exactly why I like having both my Harley and my smart car with me. This morning I went out for groceries in the smart car, it was cold. I had the heated seats on today. I'm just wearing a leather vest and a hoodie and riding my motorcycle around and we're just gonna go have some fun today. So uh, thanks for joining me guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below in the video description as usual for you there. And uh, we're gonna be just cruising down A1A here in Daytona Beach, Florida. Yeah, I'm checking it out uh, before bike weeks. Bike week, I keep calling it weeks. Um, this will be my very first time attending actual bike week in Daytona Beach. I've been to Biketoberfest, which is also here in October, but this will be different. And this is supposed to be the world's largest motorcycle rally. Yes, even bigger than Sturgis. So uh, we'll be doing that here in a couple weeks. Gonna get my bearings straight, see if I can score a, a magnet, t-shirt or a hat or something. Whew. Actually, I'll tell you what, today could have been one of those days where I tested out my new full face modular helmet because the high is 72 today. And when you're going 55 mile an hour, that's 20 degrees cooler. So it feels like 52 in your face and yeah. Well, anyways, what do we got here across the street? Take this little crosswalk over here to the tree. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Can you see them all? There's a bunch of little gnomes. <laughs> Home of the Holly Hill Gnomes. Wow, they got them on swings here. This could possibly be the world's largest collection of gnomes. That is pretty impressive, actually. Let's see here, get your copy of the Holly Hill Museum. So it's an actual thing here. Wow. There's a lot, guys. And it's so cool that people don't graffiti it up or steal them, you know? It can just be here and look cool. Oh, cool, it's almost like a Sorcerer's Apprentice gnome. It's a Santa gnome. Wait a minute. That, <laughs> that's one of the seven dwarfs. I think that's Sleepy. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Oh, there's even some up here in the trunk and peeking out of the trunk. All right, pretty cool. Not sure what river this is, but it's obviously not the Atlantic Ocean because there's a body of there's a body of land on the other side right there. So the ocean will be on the other side. We're gonna head there actually. Yeah, we're gonna keep going down A1A and 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 see some beach. Well, hang, on. I'm almost about to give up, guys. I still can't find a way to get to the actual water. I think because of the hurricane, they've still closed off the beach here in Daytona. I, I was here a couple weeks ago with uh, Diane. You know, we had the same problem trying to just find a way to get to the beach, and they're all closed. Try to sneak behind this hotel real quick. They're actually doing some construction at the motel, but look at it's a Viking motel. Isn't that awesome? I love that. That is another negative. Uh, even that park that I parked my RV at that I realized you cannot overnight park there, they have that all barricaded off as well. Can't find anywhere where I can get to the beach today. We're just riding around. It's so close, I can smell it, but we just can't get to the beach today. I don't get it, guys. I don't get it. It is the strangest thing. I know Florida got hit by a hurricane, but I don't get it. The beaches look fine. I give up. We're going to go do Harley stuff. Let's go over to the famous Daytona Beach Harley Davidson block. Yeah, they have they own a whole block. Let's check it out today. All right. This is cool. This whole block is Harley Davidson of Daytona Beach, guys. Man, I am so glad I have a bike now. I miss Black Betty, but we gotta name this bike. 
I have, I have two ideas. You can either vote for one of these two or give me a new name in the comments below. I was going with Dory, you know, the blue fish from Disney's Finding Nemo, Dory. Or I was thinking Barley. Barley the Harley, right? I don't know. You guys have better ideas? Put them in the comments below. This place is massive. They've got live music stage over there. Uh, and this place is going to be packed here in a couple weeks for bike week. Look at that Daytona Harley Davidson motorcycles. Yes, DaytonaHog.com. So this whole building is the start of Teddy Morris's Daytona Harley Davidson. It wraps all the way around and there's even more buildings. There's a liquidation store. Let's go check out in the store first, then we'll come outside and see the music. Wow, guys, look at this mural here. We're starting off in the sales department here. They, they may sell a few of these bikes. This place is absolutely massive. This place is insane, guys. It is so cool. I don't know if it's the biggest Harley shop. Look at this, they got a barber shop inside. <laughs> That's awesome. That's the service department in there. They've got their own cafe with food. Mm -hmm. And you can even rent a motorcycle, which I looked into. I looked into that before I even purchased a motorcycle. I thought I could just rent a motorcycle. Well, it starts at $279 a day. And then after you add their fees and taxes and insurance and everything, it's about $480 a day to rent a motorcycle. I'm not the guy. But one of the cool things I do like about Harley is they let you test out their seats. So they will put any of these seats that you're into, like you saw them online, you're like, I wonder how comfortable it really is. They'll put it on a bike and you can uh, test it out before you buy, which I think is a good idea. They also have a bunch of merch, obviously. Uh, everything at Harley is, is overpriced. Uh, you're paying for the logo, but th did I mention this is just the downstairs? Yeah, guys, there's literally an entire upstairs. We can hop on this and take the Elvis later all the way to the top for even more. Man, it's a monster building. Look at the ceiling. There's another Harley Davidson Shield LED sign on the ceiling. Holy cow. Yeah, so now we're upstairs where there's more bikes, used bikes. There's a Daytona mural over there. Whoa, are these police interceptor models? They've got the blue and red on them. Yeah, they are. They sure are. I wonder if they uh, sell these to the D Daytona Beach Department, Police Department there. That's pretty awesome. Wait a minute, are you kidding me? It's the king, guys. Elvis Presley on a Harley statue. Gosh, that is gorgeous. Look, he's even got a little air horn there. Elvis Presley himself. Nice. That's a really good job they did on that too. <laughs> and yep, we already have Bike Week 2023 merch. I need to get, oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this t-shirt guys. It, it's like the old uh, Top Gun logo, see it? That's, what it? that's what it reminds me of is the Top Gun logo. It's on the back. Oh my gosh, I have got to have this. They're gonna sell out, so I'm probably gonna get probably gonna get one today. Otherwise, one of my new favorite things to do is to come into all the different Harley shops around the country and grab me a shirt that says where I'm from. This one says Teddy Morse. It says Daytona. Um, I like to get them in black, but, but I'm gonna skip that one and go with a Bike Week version. Also upstairs, they must have an elevator because this is another part of the, the, the service area is two floors, two floors of service bays. All right, we'll head back down I think I see magnets right there. I think so, let's go check it out. Fantastic, look at all these magnets, guys. But look, an official magnet for, you guessed it, the 82nd annual Bike Week, 2023 on it. Let's get it now. See, I don't have saddlebags on this motorcycle, so that's why I had to bring the backpack for the camera and stuff, but I wanna go look at their saddlebags and get an idea. I don't want like dual saddlebags or hard bags because I want it to be kind of a bear bike, but let's see what other options we got. They do have some different bags. They have the handlebar bags, which that would fit my camera and my wallet and registration and stuff. Just looking to see what else. Uh, they got tank bags, yeah. See what I'm looking for, hmm. 
Just checking back here. Yeah, I definitely don't see what I'm looking for. I'm gonna have to go online to probably find it. I know what it's called. It's called a, um, a swing arm bag and it just goes on one side. It would be a lot smaller than this and it needs to fit behind the shock that I have exposed down there on one side, but I'll look online. All right, let's check on uh, the bike. Looks good. Let's go see if they're doing live music over here yet at Saints and Sinners. I think they're just playing music right now. Yeah, they're just playing some music right now, getting ready. Look at this freaking pretzel, guys. It's huge. And it's kind of smiling. Awesome. 